This is the Honors Biology Debate on Cloning for the Winter Term 2010. First up is Lauren Young. I did the technology of cloning. In the future, technological advances will provide specific data for cloning, research experiments, and outcomes. Clone is the characteristics of an individual or its phenotype can, that can differ partly by genetics, environment, and just by chance. Cloning is the projection of a precise genetic copy of DNA, a cell, or an individual plant or animal. There are different types of cloning, and they are DNA cloning, reproductive cloning, fission, cloning by nuclear transfer, and somatic cell nuclear transfer. Um, DNA cloning is Um, the simplest form of cloning, it, in it, um, it, segments of DNA are copied, and it is used for specific detailed studies of a specific gene. Reproductive cloning is the implantation of a cloning embryo into a real or artificial uterus. Um, this creates a fetus that is then carried to term, and is performed through the process of embryo splitting. Sorry. Fission, otherwise known as the cutting of an early embryo, um, is used because it may be possible to create human twins or triplets through it. Cloning by nuclear transfer is the introduction of a nucleus from a body cell into an egg cell that can then generate an organism identical to the nucleus donor. And through Cloning of the nuclear cloning through nuclear transfer was Dolly the sheep. Somatic cell nuclear transfer is a specific type of nuclear transfer, and it involves an enucleated embryo and a differentiated cell nucleus. It is indicated that it was possible for the DNA to revert into an undifferentiated embryonic stage, thereby reestablishing pluripotency, which is the potential for an embryonic cell to grow into any different type of mature body cell. Tissue culture, culture is a somatic cell that is grown in a lab in a culture dish. And as the cell divides, new cells are the clones. And this is difficult and only works on certain types of cells. There are many different uses for cloning. And most common are fertility <coughs> issues, um, for fertilization of women who don't want a sperm donor, and it can create a child of a loved one um, or a child who has died. Um, and diseases, um, cloning can treat many different diseases too, um, such as neurostem cells for multiple sclerosis, bone marrow for leukemia, liver cells, muscle cells for heart disease, and many others. The technology. Recombinant DNA technology, polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, and gene therapy. Recombinant DNA technology isolates a foreign gene, inserts it into another DNA molecule, otherwise known as a vector, and puts it into a bacterial cell or cells from another organism. Um, polymerase chain reaction um, uh, was created in 1983, and this devel development in technology allows research to quickly make billions of copies of specific segments of DNA. Um, the DNA chip, also part of PCR, um, patented in 1992, can use to be track gene expression. Gene therapy is well, will be able to replace a patient's defective gene with a normal gene to get rid of or percent different diseases. Um, clones of lab animals will be able to genetically will be gene genetically identical, which would then reduce variability in experiments. The future in technology um, may allow scientists to reprogram different cells. Um, skin cells may be reprogrammed to. Uh, as insulin 
cells for diabetes. And defective neurons in Parkinson's disease eventually may be programmed with cells that will work, or program cells. Um, different research is insights about cell function may lead to developing new treatments or preventive methods, um, including certain cancers, decreasing birth defects, making prosthetics, and circumventing aging and fertility. There are different controversies also. Um, uh, genetic engineering or gene splicing. Um, this led to controversy over whether the technology will let the cloned embryo survive or not. Um, is any disease carried over from the parent? Because the new embryo is an exact copy of the DNA, is the new embryo prone to the parent's genetic disorder? Cloning technology has benefited basic research tremendously by allowing scientists to study single genes or proteins in, control, in controlled conditions. Thank you.